Hello, this is Thad Steiner. Today we're going to talk about diodes and LEDs. Before we said that a diode, which looks like this on a symbol, has a voltage drop of approximately 0.6 volts, 0.7 somewhere in there. So that means when you put a diode in a circuit, you have to calculate a, a voltage drop of 0.6 before it goes to your other parts of your circuit. Now an LED, which is a light emitting diode, so light emitting diode, or LED for short, uh, actually can have all sorts of different voltage drops depending on the particular brand and model and design. Now they're generally uh, indicated by a normal diode but with a little photon coming off of it. Now the problem with LEDs is that they're current limited. If you just put them directly up to a battery, they'll blow out. You'll get a little bleep and that's it. So what you really need to do is put a resistor in series with them so you don't get too much current going at a given time. So how do you figure out how much current, uh, or sorry, how, how, do, how do you figure out what resistance you need? Well, it's pretty simple. When you buy an LED, uh, it gives a certain voltage drop. So the LEDs that, are co that we commonly use in class is a 4304H1 LED. And it has a voltage drop of 2.0 volts. And it's got a maximum current of 20 milliamps, according to the spec sheet. Now suppose I want to use a 12 volt battery with it. So we'll say, okay, here's my 12 volt DC supply. I'm going to have some sort of resistor of some no unknown value. LED, and that's it. I'm just going to, just going to light up the LED. Well, I know from Ohm's law that I equals V over R. So consequently, R has to equal V over I. Well, in this case, R should be the uh, voltage drop across this resistor. Remember, this is going to have two volts drop here. So the rest is going to be made up by this resistor. So it's going to be 12 volts total minus uh, 2 volts for the diode. So 12, or I should say, let's do this explicitly, VCC, VCC equals 12 here, VCC minus the voltage drop over the max current, which in this case is 12 volts minus 2 volts over 0 0.020 amps, which equals, let's see here, 10 over 0.02 is 500 ohms. So if I want to get the max brightness out of my, di out of my um, LED, I put a 500 ohm resistor in it, minimum. Anything less than that, I risk losing my LED. Good thing to keep in mind in the future. Oftentimes, you can just estimate these things pretty quickly, but that's how you do it properly. See you next time.